welcome for gorgeous and talented, Monica. Monica, welcome. Have a seat. Those are some serious ass shoes. How tall, how tall are you? You're already like 5'8". Exactly, I'm 5'8". And then what's happening with that? I'm a fan of Gene Simmons, and D-Squared kind of hooked me up with a pair that reminded me of him. Yeah, can you do that again? <laughs> Congratulations on your album debuting at number one on the R&B charts. Congratulations. Congratulations, really. Nobody ever expects that to happen. So when, when they tell you that, how, how do you get the information that you've debuted at number one? Well, you know, now with all the different internet aspects of it all, you can't really keep anything hidden. So I was finding out through my Twitter what the album was selling every day. And I would just look and sometimes I just burst out crying because I took four years off to be with my children. I have a two-year-old and four-year-old. Mm -hmm. So when you leave like that, so many people come and you never know what to expect. So for people to just welcome you back into their homes and on their radios and stuff like that, it's really, it's emotional because I was only 12 the first album. 12 years old. And I'll be 30 this year. <laughs> That's great. That's good. I like that. But some, some stores, this is what I like, is that people were actually going to buy the CD, which is new. Yes. So you were at Check stores, they were running out. This is what happened. I started telling them on Twitter. They would say, I can't find the CD, and I'm pissed. So I said, look, you assist me in doing what I need to do at the company. My label and I are very close. They've known me since I was a child. So I would call into the office, and because of Twitter, I would know the store, the store location, and the amount of CDs that were there and that were completely out. And that's the way we restock. We drop ship to all these different stores because of Twitter. Is that great? <laughs> it's great. It's great. You said that you took time off to focus on your two kids. I have a picture yes. of, your, of your children. Oh, wow. They're Where? beautiful boys. Oh, yeah. You think when they grow up, will they say, why did you dress us alike? You know, I always <laughs> wonder, but the oldest, Rocco always requests to be dressed like the youngest. Yeah. They have this really extreme closeness. I kept him with me all the time, even through the labor and delivery. So he has this thing where he feels he's his brother's protector. You started singing when you were two. Yes. And now your child sings and he's to check out this videotape. This is great. You ain't ready. You, 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 you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that? I, I have to apologize. I believe that's Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> My I'm son not. is cuter. <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> Same height, but cuter. Now, your four-year-old can play, I mean, genetics. I mean, it's you, a genetic you, you, thing. you are talented. It's <laughs> your kids have it. Your son is four years old, yes. can play the drum. I mean, yes. check he's, out this. He's fascinated with it. I mean, he loves check it. Check this out. Did he just start? You know, it's, it's, it's amazing because my brother plays all these instruments, you know, and he's never had a lesson. I can't play anything. I <laughs> simply play the throat. Right. Um, so I guess it's like the boy portion of the genetics. And with my son, I didn't know he liked to sing. I used to sing in the sleep. And then he starts singing back. Right. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, dude. You're supposed to be going night-night, remember? You know, I'm trying to, like, lay him back over. He's sitting up, singing. So I think it's just things that they pick up. But my son is even obsessed with golf. So that's something that none of us do. Right. Well, he's obsessed with golf. So look what I got for him. I got... Ah! I got some... Oh, I got my people at Golfsmith. Oh, my God! So... 
Goldsmith gave him some clubs oh and some practice balls. Okay, so that's for him to, to oh. work on his swing. He asked me for golf lessons last week, and this is going to make him so happy. There you go. So, a $100 gift certificate from Goldsmith, $100, oh. practice balls, and the clubs. And for your little singer, Romello. Oh, that is... And that's oh, our friends at Born to Love Clothing, a fly hat. Oh. That's also Nick Cannon's. No, I'm kidding. That, that's... <laughs> so, Still Standing is in stores right now, and Monica will grace us and sing for us when we come back. So stay right where you are.